national associations, they normally uh, involve uh, large, medium and small, uh, small holders. Uh, so, there's, when we have a new technology, when we have decided that we are going to reach one market, we will inform and we will do the work for the large, for the medium, and for the small holders. Of course, there's always some small holders who won't have a special association for them, um, but the majority of the national associations reach uh, the three types of uh, farmers. And the small holders are, have the same uh, opportunities in terms of technical assistance, uh, information, communication, as any other farmer um, in the country. It's the, the reality I know the most. Okay. Um, ours is a broad-based approach, whether it be through our, um, our associates, of which over two million people work for our company, whether it be from our suppliers, of which we buy from over 100,000 suppliers globally, um, our NGOs that um, aid us tremendously and we, and we work with uh, directly and have offices actually in Bentonville, and also, too, obviously, the customers who shop in our source. Um, we purchase and we serve our customer. And so uh, what our customers are looking for is what we put on our shelves. And so those 200 mil million people who are in our stores every week, that's also a tremendous uh, listing post that we have, that we pr have information coming into us on an ongoing basis that we uh, monitor and uh, make um, changes on based on their behavior. We have a, an extensive network of relationships that we've built up over the last uh, 50 years. Uh, with civil society, NGOs, uh, national research systems, uh, uh, and government agencies uh, that allow us to receive a lot of direct feedback uh, from, from farmers, uh, exactly what they need, what they want, and uh, equally importantly, uh, how technology is, is working for them and how it's not working. And I think that, that, that relation, uh, relationship has allowed us to guide the development of next generation technologies. Uh, our Feed the Future strategy, actually, if you read the, the document uh, on our website, focuses on, on smallholders uh, in terms of making sure that they have access to technology, making sure that they have access to financing. The other piece that I think we're going to try and do more work on that I think in some ways is low-hanging fruit here is uh, post-harvest technologies because the large companies can, uh, may not need that kind of advice, but in, in a developing world, you get 50% of your produce doesn't make it to the, to the market. And the smallholder needs help in that. And so we're going to try and focus as well on, uh, on post-harvest uh, uh, best practices and technology. I'd just like to thank uh, our panel. I think what we tried to do today was to have a conversation uh, up here, and I think we did achieve that. There was a, quite a lot of sort of movement up and down and across the different conversation topics. So uh, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed being part of this conversation with us. I know it's the end of 